Yo, what's up guys? Wanted to make this video real quick before I leave to Chiang Mai. Um, some of you guys actually been asking me on Skype how my trip's going so far, what I'm learning, what I'm up to, when I'm gonna be in Chiang Mai, and uh, what are the dates looking like, etc. where I'm gonna be located. Uh, all cool and done, but I haven't been able to really put up any uh, videos because I haven't been doing anything SEO, to be honest. Right, the last couple of days, um, I've just been in Koh Samui, chilling, going to some of the islands. Um, it's been a blast. And um, I've been trying to get a podcast with a couple of people, uh, so I have, you know, to make a video happen with this kind of view, but that didn't work out. So this is the topic I'm squeezing out because, you know, I just really want a video in this view. <laughs> I see all these entrepreneurs have such cool uh, videos with these backgrounds, and this is my only chance. Look at this shit. I don't know if the video does justice, but it's fucking beautiful. It's, 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 it's incredible. Uh, one of the best uh, backgrounds I've ever been in. It's literally like a wallpaper type shit. Anyways, having that said, I figured, you know, if there's one thing I can talk about today uh, to sum up the last couple of days, um, other than going in the beaches and all that and all the, you know, um, water sports I've been doing would be uh, a, a simple conversation or you know a few little conversation I've been having with my business partner as we are experiencing these things and uh, to sum it up it goes like this it is about allowing yourself to spend more money on yourself right so I'll give you my personal example because it'll make sense to you guys because you by now you guys kind of see how I live uh, a little bit right when I'm in New York I live pretty frugal right and not just to like, you know, save money and stuff, but also like everything I do is geared towards ma like, you know, moving me forward, right? You see like the food I eat, the exercises that I do, the um, equipment I buy from everything I spend almost, it feels like at least to me, like, you know, all the, every dollar I spend is some way related to a bigger puzzle of moving me forward and better health, uh, faster, more efficient, being able to work, um, you know, with uh, more clarity, things like that, right? Which is great, it's awesome. But what ended up happening is that I thought to myself that I, would, I shouldn't have too many monetary goals because I am just not a person who likes too many um, things that look good, right? So for example, there's a lot of people who has a lot of fun, you know, buying, uh, you know, clothes, right? And it's, there's no judgment to that. It's just that they like things that look good, right? I know that in personality, over time, since I've been a little kid, I always like shit that feel good, right? Anything that's like, um, has a bit more thrill into it, experiencing a few more stuff, completely my personality. But with that, with that line of understanding, once I got into entrepreneurship, I just completely took it to myself that everything I'm gonna be investing in is gonna be on businesses, right? Because there's no point in me getting anything ever other than a car, you know, that's the only goal I have so far, like in terms of, um, you know, monetary goals. But basically I thought to myself um, all this time that it, I should just be able to uh, be quite cheap and live really frugal and only invest in more businesses as I get and you know like expand an empire or whatever you want to call it but as I come here I realize that there may be certain things that I really want to um, be involved into in the in the future uh, not too long from now in, in terms of um, you know just getting assets right um, that may not even like make a, uh, return on a return on investment let me give you an example so yesterday, right, instead of just getting a jet ski for like 30 minutes like I normally do, right, we actually took it out for a couple hours and we went to like a nearby island. It was dope. It was the coolest shit I ever did in terms of, um, you know, being in the water, right? And when we came back, I was sitting down and my partner was saying like, now imagine if you could do this like four times a year. Normally, you, you know, we have all these barriers that come up like how the, f like why, like what? Like you come here four times a year? He's like, yeah, just drop all that, you know? He was just saying like, imagine the plane ride wasn't even that bad. Cause that was my next obje objection. Like, oh, so much hassle, the plane rides, it's like a, it's a journey or, you know? I'll say like, imagine that wasn't a bad thing. Cause you know, that can be fixed with an upgrade. Imagine if you could do this three, four times a year and it was like almost like it was kind of like seamless, right? You didn't have to think much too much too much about it. It wasn't like a big stress like, oh shit, when I go back, fuck, I better like, you know, have these kind of clients pay this, that so I can like, you know, recoup. Imagine that wasn't there. How would it feel? And we came to a realization that 
this is like freaking possible. It's not so far, right? Like with two, three clients, you can kind of afford this. I'm not saying I can fully afford this, but you know, you can kind of afford this with two, three clients. Six, seven, you can comfortably afford this, right? So with this line of business, like you can really put your finger on the shit you like, truly like, truly enjoy, right? I'm talking about the moments when like, you know, wind, power, vehicles, a little bit of recklessness. If you're, if you're like me, um, you can really make that shit happen. It doesn't even have to be in, you know, Thailand, wherever you are in the world, you can maybe go to South America, do little vacations, you know? I don't like the word vacation because it just seems like, you know, you're taking a trip, more like escapes, you know, little escapes throughout your month. In the middle of winter, smack in the middle where everybody's like, you know, getting ready to do their 95 in the, in the you know, morning cold snow. Why not take a little trip nearby South America, rent a few jet skis. It's the only example I can give right now because I'm like so over mind blown about how awesome it's been um, writing these things. But um, yeah, pretty much like, you know, it's been a really kind of a wake up call for me. Um, feels pretty cool to even have these kind of ambitious um, things, uh, you know, up in front without, without feeling like it's like, you know, a far reach. It kind of seems like it's so doable. So, you know, really excited guys. And pretty much that's all I have to say. Other than that, take one last look at the view. <laughs> About to catch a flight in like 30 minutes. Um, now we'll get ready for it in 30 minutes, go to Chiang Mai and uh, we're gonna start the conferences. Stay tuned, peace.